Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Sean. Be nice. Back you on some more heat rocking today. We're gonna be taking a look at the Galaxy Book Two. Now, the reason why I'm so interested in doing this video is because, well, just kind of see how this works out. Is because, as you guys know, the iPad Pro has been out for a while, and they're trying to say it's a laptop replacement. But let's see how that kind of compares to something like the Galaxy Book 2 that actually runs Windows apps. Now, one thing I wanna let you guys know, this runs Windows S mode, which is different from Windows 10 Pro mode. Windows S mode, just kind of think of it as like Windows uh, iOS, whereas then you can only download those Windows apps, and then once you delete them off your system, they're completely gone. There's no there's no EXE files, that's right, like things in registry, anything like that. So it's kept this, again, think of it, it's comparable to iOS, just not so quite on that level just yet. So, as you guys can see, this is the Galaxy Book 2. This is a 12 inch edition, 128 gigabytes of storage, LTE, this is with Sprint. Now this here is purchased my own money. So I will be completely honest with you guys. Uh, I'll let you guys know if this is worth putting on your plan or not. So right now, if you wanted to, or just at least for Sprint, if you wanted to add this onto your bill, you're looking like an extra 80 bucks a month, okay? So I'll let you guys know if it's worth that or not. And it, you know, as far as the convenience tonight. So it comes with the S Pen, comes with an S Pen case as well. Comes with a keyboard. You know what, how about we just open the box and get straight to it. So got the hood unboxing knife on deck. Very simple so far. All right. Okay, here we go. I like the presentation so far. Let's go ahead and use this tab to lift it up. Very light, I like that. Set this to the side. So you got your fast your fast charging adaptive brick, USB-C cable. You already know stuff we don't read. Just in case Samsung wants to check this video out and wanna hit y'all with the, what I normally say. Uh, and then you had an S Pen and this little cover. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it is magnetized to the actual tablet, I guess you will. And then you have the pen tip replacements. But like I said, I think it is magnetized to the, the actual book itself. If I'm not mistaken, the keyboard, maybe the keyboard is already attached to it. So let's go ahead and set this to the side. All right, aha, keyboard is here. It's just so thin. Wow, that's like that has a thin profile. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Check out the keyboard. Keyboard looks nice, not too flimsy. Still kind of sturdy, as you can see, you got the mouse pad here. And let's go ahead and get to the actual device itself. Now, build wise, so far it's already getting the win in my book. This feels very sturdy. I like the aluminum build of it. The, I mean, it looks really good. It, it feels very premium. So you got, all right, so you have two USB C ports. You got one for like your standard charging, obviously, and then one if you want to connect any other devices. Um, this is Bluetooth, so you can connect another like another mouse and keyboard to it if you want to, which the iPads you cannot. So that's already a win right there in your book. And it comes with the keyboard and the pen already attached. Okay, you have your SIM tray uh, for your LTE and I believe um, expandable storage. Don't quote me on it, but we will check. Then you got your speaker mounts here, and then you also have the kickstand. Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, I know it's like crazy on the fingerprints, but get the power switch, go ahead and turn that on. All right, so false alarm people, this actually has 63% of charging. And what's cool about this that I kind of like compared to any other thing, guess, especially iPads, it has a charging indicator to let you know when it's charging or not. So when I plugged it in, the light became blue to let me know that it was charging. So let's go ahead and use the S Pen to kind of go breeze through these options real quick. All right, so as you guys see, S Pen works perfectly fine. How about we go ahead and connect this? Which is very simple. I have to prop this yet. open. All right, so for the remainder of this test, we're actually not going to connect the Wi Fi because, again, this is LTE enabled. It has Sprint LTE. So we're going to use Sprint LTE to set up everything else. So, now what's cool about this keyboard, as you guys can hopefully see, which you can, um, is that you can prop the keyboard up at a higher stance if you want to. If you want to kind of like leave it flat, you can do that. Now, the first thing I can say, the only thing, the only gripe that I have off back is the bezels to me are just a little bit too big. Like they're really, really thick. Also, one thing that we didn't go over is the price for this particular model here. This model is a thousand dollars. There is a fingerprint scanner here, which I did forget to mention to you guys. So if we actually turn that over to the back, it is left hand corner. So we're going to use the right fingerprint.
I gotta be honest, I at least feel like Mac OS is way faster than the whole setup process. Again, that's not a Samsung issue, that's more so just a Windows gripe, I guess I would say I have. So while this is doing this, I think I hit you guys with a couple of B-roll shots so you can get more of a cinematic feel for the tablet overall. So here we have it, it's finally done setting up and like I told you guys, there is a little magnet right here on the side, which is good, very convenient. Again, you don't have to charge the S Pen because it works off the power off the screen. So again, the magnet, it's not like super strong or anything, but it's enough to kind of like, if you just want to sit it down right there, yes. Would I transport this like that? No. Again, you also have the cover. So let's go ahead and actually, for the rest of this, let's go ahead and use the trackpad so we can see how that feels. So pretty much here you have it right here, right? Basic OS. We are connected to Sprint LTE. We even do a speed test to see how Sprint is doing in here. I'm sorry, and the resolution for this tablet or PC-like experience is the 2K display. So 2K display AMOLED, I'm, I'll take it, hands down. Let's go ahead and turn that brightness up so we can get that full crispiness going. Let's go do a speed test. Let's open the Microsoft Edge. 52.69 download, roughly, we just say 52 and a half, and then about four megabytes upload. Um, it's acceptable, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, that's good enough, right? If you're out somewhere and you kinda, you know, got something going on, you just kinda wanna access the document real quick, that's more than enough. I don't, I don't really see you guys doing anything like super heavy on this, but right now, this is just in a box. I don't wanna get too heavy into first impressions territory, but one thing we can do, we take at least the front facing camera and the rear facing camera, We'll do a speaker test, see how loud it gets, and then we go from there. So let's go to a YouTube channel. Now that's at 720p and it's looking very good on this, this display. Let's go ahead and pump it up to a 1440p, the native resolution of this tablet, and see how it goes from there. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah, that looks really, really good, guys. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that a whole lot. The display on this, phenomenal. 2K display, I'll take it hands down. Now, this is the only thing I will say. The speakers, honestly, they're okay. Are they like the best in the world? No. Not really expecting that to, you know, for it to blow my mind away. Um, but it's, you know, it's not the not the loudest thing in the world at all. Again, we do the front, we do the camera, and then we go from there. So one thing I do kind of want to clear up, again, this is a 2K AMOLED display. The speakers are tuned by uh, they are tuned by AKG, but they have Dolby Atmos support. It has a five it has a five megapixel front facing camera and an eight megapixel rear facing camera four gigabytes of RAM, 108 gigabytes of storage, and the Snapdragon 850 processor. Just in case I didn't go over that, I wanted to make sure I definitely told you guys those items. Now, let's check out the camera, then we kind of conclude the test from there. So this is the front-facing camera, as you guys can see. Um, not bad, it's definitely good enough for a Skype call. And if we want to reverse it, Yeah, fairly decent, okay? From what I'm seeing, yeah, that's that's good enough. Are you, would I be expecting you go out here like snapping pictures with, with this tablet? No, but honestly, compared to most other two-in-one tablets, by far, top of the line. So, um, we're gonna end the test there. As far as like the keyboard, and the, as far as the keyboard and the trackpad is concerned, they're good for a two-in-one tablet. I'd say maybe even comparable to like the Surface, our Surface tablet. Uh, type of cover book, it is good, it's not too flimsy. Uh, it feel, it definitely feels good. Nice texture material in the back. So definitely have no complaints there. But again, it's just an unboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, stay tuned in so you guys can see my actual first impressions of this 2-in-1 tablet. It's your boy Sean, be nice man, I'm out. Deuces.